We're back with some more Halls of Torment. We're going to go in as the warrior today. Uh, now, he's got a few bits and pieces that he needs to get done. Um, so, if we're looking at uh, you know, Path of the Sword. So, we've got to do um, 3 million damage with the main weapon, which is going to be tough. Um, ring blade stuff. Uh, 1,000 enemies for 3 or more damage in one run. Again, that's also going to be tough as well. Uh, get hit a total of 500 times and then reach level 60. So I've got a few bits and pieces that I need to do um, for there, but I've also got some stuff on the haunted cabins as well, like um, just main ones. So like, I'm probably not going to kill a total of 50,000 slimes in this one. Um, all that, all that. 50,000 skeletons is my main aim. So let's go and do that. Off we pop. Uh, do I want to buy something? I've got enough actually. Let's buy an upgrade or two. So. Uh, what can I buy? I can buy defense. Defense could be good. Regen is probably what I want. Um, I'll tell you what, let's buy regen, and then let's go. Um, wanted captains, and away we go. If you haven't seen this before, of course, it's also torment. This is um, one of the best action roguelikes I've played recently. Um, in terms of just sheer focus and um, kind of design standards I, I just like it a lot we are going to take some attack speed so attack speed is where uh obviously you're attacking more often the fact that this guy can uh, attack through other characters as well does help him massively um duration has no effect for me at the moment we'll take some critical chance though it's going to be come down to when i get that first banner the quicker i get that the quicker i can get some of the other stuff going as well I do have the option with this character of doing more than 300 damage with one hit, but that's going to be on criticals, so I do need to make sure I get that. But also increasing my base damage as well is important. There will be better upgrades for that as we get further down the upgrade tree, so I just need to focus on getting as many upgrades as possible. Other things like, I mean, range is not necessarily one I need to increase on this guy, but uh, the cone size is also good because you can hit more characters at once than all more enemies at once, I should say. Uh, we're not going to see it there. We will take... Oh, no, we'll take some critical damage bonus, so if I do do a critical, you will see. Yeah, 292 now is good. Just need to do one more 10% damage upgrade, and that'll start hitting 300. This banner is always feels so far away. And we're about to get the first boss in about 20 seconds, I think. Not even that, probably. Now, I think. Maybe not. Anyway, keep going. Skeletons are no major issue for me at the moment. I just need to keep going. Um, but it could be quite good. I'll take that. Let me see what the first critical is. 319, there we go. So a few of those, and we'll be well on our way to getting that blessing or uh, achievement or whatever you want to call it. it. Must take a while to get there. So increasing my critical chance now is uh, probably a key on my radar. We're going to hit slimes in a second. I do dislike the slimes because they still take two hits. And here's my banner. Dragon's Breath. Uh, I'm going to take the Ring Blades, I think. Because they will just fly off in random directions and hit things. Right, so there's my first upgrade. Or my first upgrade since then. I. 10% range on the main weapon. Yeah, we'll take that. Means I can just hit that a little bit further. There's my first boss. So it takes a while to kill this dude. Uh, with the warrior, at least, he does. Which is a bit of a shame. Easiest character to start with is always the exterminator. The fire-breathing guy, because he is just that much better. But he peters off very, very quickly because his base damage is so low. Okay, take another banner. We will take Phantom Needles. I like that, because that's a projectile. Let's do quick attack speed again. Start heading north again. Lovely. Right. 10% uh, damage. 10% range and 10% cone. We take that. Makes a big difference. Uh, 
haven't seen much in terms of criticals at the moment, so just keep going. Uh, no criticals in there. We'll take some regen. Not that I need it at the moment. Again, there's there's more kind of general milestones for not getting hit for a certain amount of time. I'm hoping I can get to... I know three minutes is the base one because I've had that before. Got that on stream a while back. I'd like to be able to get... Um, I'd like to be able to get to like six minutes if I can. Got another three minutes to go for that at the moment. I'm starting to get surrounded. Let's find a way through. So the Phantom Needles are helping me kill these guys in kind of one hit, most because they do a hit automatically. 8% um, area cone size is good. There we go. Right, we'll just start bowing these guys down now. This works towards our 50,000 skeletons, of course. It's a crit chance, not the crit chance I want, because it's only on the blades. Um, you know what? I'll take some block. 50 base health is always good too. Probably going to get our next boss in 30 seconds, I think. And he's a little bit more difficult. Um, again, we'll take 50% area and cone size. start seeing the red guys who are a little bit tougher to hit because they're faster but we don't mind them because they all still die in one hit 8% range you know what, I'm going to take some movement speed actually it will make a big difference later on because this guy is significantly slower than some of the later stage enemies don't need that health on the floor and I'm taking it anyway Lovely. Right, uh, let's take the range on this time. Kill things from further away, always good. Do need some damage soon, though. I almost got hit then. Can't be doing that this early in the game. I'm expecting a boss any moment. Additional attacks could be good. Yeah, all abilities, that's good. Take that. Not sure how that's going to work, but we'll see. Start heading north, you can need to head towards the, uh, the bucket or the hand, which is like a void. Sucks up all your XP. There's another one on the left there, we'll take that too. There we go. 25 critical damage is nice. Oh, there's two really good ones there. Uh, in fact, there's three good ones there. I'm going to take the 10% damage on attack speed. Can't really turn down attack speed, so... There's my boss. So this guy's very tough. But with the warrior, with enough damage upgrades, you can do him quite easily. Hoping that void would get me at least one upgrade. <laughs> but it did not, so never mind. A few criticals on this guy, and we should be good. I've taken my damage. Yeah. My first milestone done. Um, yeah, we take that one. 376 on a crit now. Ow. Took more damage out. He's dead. Let's get your item. So, third boss you always get an item from. These are new for me. Increases block strength on moving. That's quite nice. Okay. Um, no. We'll take the block strength. That's fine. I'm going to walk around in my elven slippers. Right. So you'll see on the right hand side, it's got an 11 under it, which is, means my block is increased to 11 or by 11. I've had which one it is now. I need a bit more damage very, very quickly. Some of these enemies now are going to be quite tough. On a crit, I will kill. Um, at least for the moment. 
but I'm not guaranteed to crit every time, of course. My crit chance is still only 20%. This is one every five hits, uh, or five slashes, I should say, not every five hits, because some enemies I will hit multiple times. Just suck up some of these guys down here. Uh, they're all poor, but we'll take the one that gives me regen as well. If we go to the bucket. We're going to start getting magic characters soon as well. They can prove to be very difficult. Shield guys as well. They're not too bad. Anything that pierces can do them damage, so it's all good. Just need to get past them. <clears throat> Come on. Let's focus, focus, focus. There's a lot of them now, and there's the magic dudes. Okay. I didn't take damage here, which I'm surprised by. I thought I would. Definitely need some more levels. Doing alright on the old uh, avoidance at the moment. That movement speed has certainly helped. Don't hit me, don't hit me. I need to find a way through. Okay, cool. Bucket is still north of me, so we're doing okay. Ow, got hit then. Here's my first level for a while. Uh, we'll take 20% attack speed on one phantom needles. I'm moving away from the bucket, I don't want that. Right, we have the bucket in sight. This is uh, something that's not retrieved yet, so we will retrieve the item. It means I lose it, but it means I can have it on later on. So I think there's an achievement for getting a certain amount of them. So many magic dudes. Kill them all. Right, it's okay. Uh, cool. Ah, I've just survived for a bit. Got all slimes coming in. They're a pain because they take two hits to kill. Uh, nothing I really want there. We'll take the crit critical hit chance. Ah. This is why I hate the slimes. Because no matter what you do, you've got to hit them two or three times. And then you've got the dude with the shield. Now, he doesn't take too long to kill. He's just annoying. This is where you need some damage over time. Of course, we don't have that. He's going to get even faster in a minute because he's going to lose his shield. Having two health bars is a bit of a cheat, if you ask me. It's, uh, it's fine. He's not going to last too long. We get. Uh, I'll take the arcane splinters. Gives me a bit more uh, kind of standing damage, if you like. Get some decent upgrades for them as well. Bit of bad place. Need to go weave and weave and weave. See ya. Out. Wasn't too bad, but uh, it wasn't great either. Dudes. There we go. Oh no, don't hit me. I think that hit me, I'm not too sure. We keep going this way. What's the problem here is because my time to kill is now so low in comparison to what it used to be. That 
it's tempting. Yeah. Um, it means I level up a little slower, which I dislike. 404. Oh, I want that. I want that. I want that. So just to mouse over that real quick. 100% damage. These guys are quite tough as well, so. I'm just going to leave to let the sword do its own thing for the moment. All of your abilities together will focus in and uh, get them, even without my uh, plus 100% damage we're doing. Nice spongy enemies. Just lots of them. Okay. Green slimes are a little annoying. You need to stay away from them. They're closer to... Ah, ham. Gives me then all my XP. Right. Um, let's take 8% attack speed. That applies to everything. Uh... Some piercing doesn't really matter. We will take some range. And okay. Let's do 40% pickup range, just because. Ten percent damage and attack speed, yeah, why not? One more level, please. Shows how much uh, XP we left on the floor. Plus 0.1 attacks, gonna take that. I don't know how that works with the sword. I'm guessing we just do an additional attack. Plus 5% bit critical ch chance. There we go. Right, that's all the uh, the levels we're going to get from that. You will get some more of those void hands, whatever they're called, dropped occasionally. Get them from crates, or you can even get them from enemies. Good for poison, that was stupid. Right, um... 8% area and cone size? Yes, please. I think that was another hand. Didn't even give me a single level. Right. Health regen? Why not? What is my health regen now? 1.1 a second. That's not bad, actually. I think that's the highest I've had it for a while. I'm still going to run. Doing alright, doing okay. These guys are slowly dying. That probably means there's another type of enemy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hello, boss. Didn't even see you there. Just kite around him for a bit. Kill off his ads. No, oh, you spawning magic guys is not fair. Um. Critical damage bonus, let's go. Okay, we're doing alright. Yes, okay, so he should drop soon. Uh, move out of the way. I like him when he does this straight line attack, because that means he's uh, a little bit easier to avoid. Oh, I think he drops a chest. He does. So what item are you going to give me? Ooh, that's quite nice. Up to 50% attack speed, very nice. That's also nice, but I'm never going to stand still for 10 seconds. Uh, so let's take the Wind Crown. actually had this on a run recently as well. Um, You'll see my attack speed increasing on the right-hand side there, which means I'm going to be doing lots and lots of damage to lots and lots of things. Uh, let's take 20% damage on my Phantom Needles. I think I've got all the upgrades for um, those weapons that I've already got. As in, I've got all the achievements for those ones where I get the uh, level 3 weapons and things. Keep going. I like it when I get loads of easy enemies to beat because then my attack speed goes up massively. Um, let's take three block strength as well. 
base health is good. I've never had over a thousand base health, so it'll be interesting to see if I can get that. We have a new enemy type in a second. Here he is. Shield boots. They're fine. Oh, find myself a little alleyway through and then kill the magic guys because they are annoying. Oh, and slimes as well. Are you kidding me? Find a hole. Go through it. We're at 13 minutes remaining. Just to give you an idea of how long we've been going. Um, plus three block strength or plus 20% damage. We'll take the damage. The duration affects things like the arcane splinters. Hey, hit a million enemies for three. A thousand enemies, sorry, not a million. That would be way too many. At least we got one achievement on this run. I'm happy with that. Consider this or I'll win. Obviously, I've never got to the Lich, <laughs> let alone defeating him yet, so that'll be the next big challenge for me. I remember when we used to play um, Vampire Survivors and trying to get to the Lich was... Uh, not the Lich, the uh, Vampire. Uh, what's he called? Devil. Grim Reaper was always the uh, the main aim there. We will take attack speed. I know I've already got something which increases my attack speed, but I'm happy with that one. Oh, magic dudes. I've got problems here. Let's just find a way through. Sometimes it's all about finding that gap. That's the only thing you need to worry about. Right, uh, more region could be good, but we're going to take the area and cone size, I think. Right, boss in 15 seconds, I think. Maybe. Been a while since I've got to this far. Definitely need some more base damage. I'm not going to lie about that. Still goes again. They're okay. I should start seeing my base uh, attack speed increasing. Oh, bad place, bad place. Okay, 10% damage. We take. Crits up to. 400 and something, 491, that's quite nice. And there is our, our next boss. So there's a magic one which is really annoying, but it does mean he's a bit weaker. I just need to avoid his primary attacks. I don't think they change. If I can hit him with a couple of crits as well, he'll be dead soon. in a safe place. Not that there's many of those at the moment. Um, 10% crit chance and a cone size on the blades. We'll take that. I have a killed him. For something glowing on the map. On the floor. I don't have a map. One thing I wish I had. I think I've killed him. Oh, there, there he is. He's still alive. He's now dead. Right, I will take Phantom Rift. So, if needles could still hit more enemies when the maximum range is reached, they deal the remaining damage as magic damage in an area, so they kind of explode. Basically, if they don't kill, then they explode. Um, yeah, we'll take the attack speed on that. Really need a void. <laughs> love it if I could find a way to force one to spawn, but it's okay. Uh, let's take that one again. My attack speed is mad. I love it. Can I have this permanently, please? It would be so nice. Okay. Um, duration really only affects the arcane splinters. 
I'll take the arcane splinter and upgrade though, because that makes more sense to me. Oh goody, slimes. We don't like slimes. Purely because they take three hits. And I'm lazy. But they're slow, so it's not too bad. I, I will take some 10% damage, that's fine. 521 on a crit now. Which I'm liking a lot. Okay, throwing different types of enemies now is uh, a little bit annoying, but it's fine, we'll kill them. Still on max health for a little while. Which I'm surprised by it. Just walked through some health, because I took damage. Can you drop me a void, please, game? There's so much XP on the floor. I really just want to be able to pick it up. I'm going to take that gold, thank you. It's another thing that you kind of need to pick up a lot of. Um, that's not too bad. You take some of that. I haven't seen any explosions from it just yet, so maybe it's not powerful enough. Slimes are, I think they're not almost dying in one hit on each of them at the moment, which is good. It's just the sheer volume of enemies is annoying. Ow, 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 that's a lot of damage. That's even more damage. Stop hitting me. I see that thing over there as well. Right, um, I think just 20%, 10% uh, damage is fine. Does that give me? Um, okay, 100% attack speed. Yep, cool. Right, okay. Keep attacking. Kill everything. Would have been nice to have a, a, a boss on the screen to do that too, but it's fine. Why is it all gone quiet? Oh, hello. I've not seen these guys before, so this may be the furthest I've ever got. Oh, hello. Definitely the furthest I've ever got. Um, let's take some crit hit chance, uh, which is now 35%. Not great. I'd like it to be higher than that. I don't know what attack pattern is. Oh, okay. You're one of them. Right, that's fine. Perhaps take some damage to just get through there. Circular skulls. So you're dying quite easily. I'm thinking you've got a second wave. I think I'm going to not survive too long if I keep taking that kind of damage. Cheese. Thank you. Only five health. It's five health nonetheless. Let's hope for a void. Right, come on. Oh, it's dead. As soon as I've not fought you before, that's that's the lich. I defeated the lich. Right, um, Sparkling, sparking tips. Hit a burning enemy with physical attacks. Enemy will spark fire damage. I wish I had fire damage now. Ah, oh, can I take them both? I'll take that though. That's that's nice. I could also stick that in the well. Maybe we go back towards the bucket. Or can I not use it more than once? I'm not seeing it on the edge of my screen. Oh, nice. 750,000 damage with Phantom Needles. I like that. I think quite a few upgrades for it, to be fair. Um, ooh. And by direct attacks, does not affect indirect attacks. What's the difference? I mean, I'm going to take it. 606 on a crit now. That's nice. So I've defeated the Lich, but there's still six minutes to go. That doesn't fill me with confidence, lads. I'm not going to lie. There must be bigger things. Right. What's coming next? I'm pleased we've got a couple of achievements, though. Really pleased with that. Um, there's a new enemy type spawning, I think. 
Yeah, okay. Kill them all though, that's fine. I'm hoping this goes towards my 50,000 skeletons. I see you. Uh, they're all rubbish. I'll take block strength though, just so I can survive a bit more. Definitely trying to swarm me. We're too powerful. <laughs> um, the word hubris is suddenly in my head. <laughs> I wonder why. Um, oh, that's no good to me. Uh, we'll take... They're all rubbish. Can I re-roll? Piercing does nothing for me, I don't think. But we'll take it. I, I think that applies to... Uh, not arcane splinters because they're static damage something like my phantom needles maybe good Lord. someone in the comments let me know I'll kill 50,000 skeletons lovely thank you very much I bet that's now 100,000 or something uh, yeah fire affinity because we are doing fire damage apparently so makes sense to do that <laughs> the rings, the ring blades. I really want to get the achievement for that on this one if I can as well. 4 minutes 33. With this many enemies on the screen, those ring blades must be doing loads. Uh, I will take the upgrade for it as well. There we go. 15,000 enemies in one run. There's another one. I genuinely didn't think I would actually do that many on this run, so that's good. Like, I'm really happy with how that's gone. And fire affinity again, I think. More slimes. Oh, run away. So many slimes. But the fact that it's fire damage, I think, helps. So I think it triggers or procs on the first guy and then hits him on the second. Uh, let's do... Three block strength is fine. It's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. I'm almost at max health as well. This is weird. I didn't think I'd get this strong on this run. surrounding me. It's cheating. I still want to avoid as well for the amount of XP that's on the floor. Like I'm not sure if there's a limit you can have of them because I've already had three. Oh, those skeletons are just dead. Um take some pickup range so I can get some more XP natively I guess most passively 2 minutes 40 till I find out what's next it's probably death and it's probably going to kill you know kind of in the name something to pick up it's just a bit of gore on the floor come on slime's not rocking on fire why not uh, uh, either of those is good I'm gonna take the critical damage bonus six seven nine now I'd love to do over a thousand on a hit that'd be amazing there's a hand go get the hand So far away. This is where I probably should have taken uh, move the bonuses, but it's okay. 
Hey, 750,000 with the wind blades. Come on, let me throw. Can't be too far away. There it is. Give me levels. Right. Um, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, oh, rubbish. Take three base defense. 20% attack speed. Is that it? Wow, I thought there was so much more. I'm almost disappointed. One minute to go. 1500 <laughs> Okay, loads of exp uh, achievements now. That's good. My only problem now is the fact that I'm dying. Um, let's take the 5% quick hit chance. Puts me up to 40 now, I think. Yep. To wend my way through the killing floor here. And I'll take you, thank you very much. 30 seconds. Plus 100% attack speed. It's not going to last until I get to the end, though. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get one more upgrade. It's throwing everything at me now. Just having to run away. Oh! Ah! Hello. You are incredibly powerful. Or is that just death in 50 seconds? I am hitting him. But it looks like he's regening. The skulls are cheating. So there's literally no way I can kill this guy in my current form. Don't know if there's a, a better way of doing this, but uh, three, two, one, am I dead? Yeah, I just exploded. Went pop. But I class that as a win. We've got all of those completed quests um, over here, which is just fantastic. Loads of gold. It's going to give us different upgrades we can get on the next runs as well. And you can see those if you subscribe down below to check them out. We have a cleric. So maybe that's on the next video. If you want to join me for that, you can, of course, as I said, subscribe down below. Uh, plenty of content left in this, of course. I didn't know if there was going to be a fourth character, which is good. I'm, I'm happy to see there is one. Um, but yeah, subscribe down below. I'll see you for another video very soon. I'm Dark Shadow Place. Thank you very much for watching.